Next uh, honoree, who is a special honoree tonight, is Lillian Friedman Astor. Good morning, Lillian. Morning. Hi. How are you, Harvey? And what is your full name? Lillian Friedman Astor. And when did you come into the industry? In 1930. And you started a small commercial company? Yes, a small commercial company where I did uh, a number of things. I wasn't uh, limited to one department or another because the whole studio consisted of about five people. And we all had to pitch it and do uh, everything except the animation backgrounds and stuff like that. So um, uh, there were three girls who did uh, opaquing, inking, and in betweening. And it was my good fortune to be so lousy at inking and opaquing that I did in-betweening mostly, so that by the time uh, that studio uh, closed up, I was able to get a job at Fleischer Studios as an in-betweener, as a trained in-betweener. And uh, how long were you in between there? Uh, at Fleischer's, I started there in 1931. And uh, in 1933, June of 1933, they signed me to be an animator. And you were the first woman animator. That's what I was told, and I think that you verified it. And how long were you at Fleischer? Uh, I was there for eight years. And what did you, uh, whose unit did you work in mostly? Mostly in Myron Walbins. So you were, uh, what films were you working on? Uh, we mostly did uh, Betty Boop cartoons and uh, what they called color cartoons, which was uh, a sort of miscellany of, of uh, characters and stories, but it was... Um, another series called Color Cartoons. Mm -hmm. And you left, uh, why? Well, I left uh, primarily because uh, the company moved to Florida and I was separated from my husband, which was not pleasant, and because uh, I was being treated like a pariah by management because of my union activities. And uh, I just felt so uncomfortable and unhappy uh, that I, I just quit, quit the business because another thing was that apparently no other studio wanted to hire me. With the experience I had, screen credits, etc., and I suppose the uh, sex barrier had not really been broken enough mm -hmm. yet uh, in other places. Well, you know about that precious letter from mm -hmm. Disney mm -hmm. where he doesn't hire women in the creative departments. So uh, that was the story. So I went up to Troy, joined my husband, and started creating a family, and which was pleasant. You've been there ever since? Well, well. yes, yeah, except for the past uh, 11 years I've been living in Albany. Okay. Do you have any particular fond memories of the uh, business that you want to say something about now, very briefly? My fond memories, first of all, the group that I worked with, Myron Waldman's group, even though there was uh, occasionally a change of characters, they all were very pleasant to work with. We had wonderful rapport, and uh, uh, there was never any feeling of hostility in, within our group. There was a lot of trust and affection and all that sort of thing. And I loved the work itself. I loved doing animation. And I think I was good at it. That may mm. be just a one person's opinion. But You're looking forward to the banquet tonight? I, I am now. <laughs> I was a little scared at first, but uh, with all this warming up, uh, I feel much more comfortable about it. Okay, thank you very much for the interview. Thank you.